the construction industry, um, for some reason, it kind of gets a bad rap, right? You know, a lot of people think that you can't make a, a great living in construction or support a family or even have a mortgage, which is completely untrue. Construction is such a viable career path, not to mention you can grow in your career. I mean, we have superintendents who are now at the leadership level and they, they don't have a formal education. And it's all because of what they know. The problem that we're up against right now is just finding people. Right now, we are about 10,000 people short just in the construction kind of fields alone. So trying to find people, trying to engage them in construction is really, really difficult right now. We hire people based on their motivation, based on their willingness to learn, and we can teach the skills. Construction skills, we can easily teach those. We've got great people within you know, our entire organization that can, can teach those skills. So if you're excited, if you're motivated, uh, you know, whatever you want to do, whether it's technology related, whether it's accounting, marketing, a superintendent, project manager, if you want to do that, apply. I started at Concord uh, 15 years ago. It's night and day for what it is right now. When I joined the industry, even you know the AEC industry in general, you know 20 some years ago, it was kind of unheard of. And women in construction, there's an emotional intelligence um, that women have in them naturally, and that is so important in the way that we lead today. And women who come into an organization, they bring kind of that different energy. They bring that different mentality and it's accepted and it's making huge changes for the better in our industry because no longer are we realizing that it's just tough, 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 show up, do your job, leave at the end of the day. It's not how it operates. Like we have to have a bigger impact. We have a bigger meaning of who we are. And without women, I don't think we would have made the inroads that we've made today.